raining on my face. Like, it is not a good day to be doing this at all. Whoa. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited because we are gonna be putting some more TikTok life hacks to the test, but for this video, I'm gonna be doing it like photography edition. Especially now that we're in lockdown, it has been extremely difficult to get really nice, decent shots that are like Instagram worthy. So whilst I was scrolling through TikTok, minding my own business, I came across quite a few TikTok photography hacks where these people are basically making it look like you're having the best time of your life, you're not staying at home. Also, I'm kind of doing this video as well because my Instagram game is hella dry right now. So if you guys wanna go and follow me on my Instagram as well as my fiance, Matt, who's gonna be helping me out in this video to take all the photos and make sure you guys do. But anyways, that is enough rambling. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, guys, so the first hack I'm gonna be trying out is a very, very popular one. I think this has been quite a viral thing right now on TikTok where people actually take out their mirror outside into the garden and they like take selfies in it and like, have a little flower prop so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I feel like it will turn out pretty good I mean already when I'm just looking in the mirror I have like this jungly sort of background behind me and it's kind of looking like I'm in Bali or something so that's great all right so I've set up my mirror in the place I want it and as you can see behind it you can just see literally my house and like all the stuff in my garden but if you look up really close you can't see any of that which I think looks really really good also I just want to point out that the weather today is not great it is quite gloomy and a lot of the time when the people are doing this hack they have like a really nice bright sunny day and they have like the really nice reflection of the sun onto their face but it's not really gonna work out for me with the UK weather. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've finished taking the photo and I feel like I actually managed to get a pretty decent photo for Instagram. Like, even though it's literally just in my garden, I'm actually really happy with it. So let's go inside and take a look. Alright, so the first photo hack I feel like has definitely, definitely worked. I honestly never ever would think of doing this myself. Like, bringing out a big ass mirror into my garden and taking like mirror selfies. Like, who does that? But I've got to say, whoever thought of this idea is actually genius because the lighting is just so much better outside than it is indoors. Obviously, I realized this is a lot of effort to go through. I could have just taken the selfie at home, but I wouldn't have had such an interesting background. And for Instagram, it doesn't look like I'm stuck at home, even though everyone knows that I'm stuck at home. <laughs> I really like these photos. I'm definitely gonna post one on Instagram at some point, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So the first one was definitely a success, and now let's move on to the second hack. All right, so for the next hack, we're gonna be creating an illusion like we're outside in like a really nice flower field. Obviously, as we're in lockdown, we're not really able to go out anywhere and get really nice photos so this will be a really nice illusion to try out so the TikTok I'm recreating is on screen right now basically what they did is they had some flowers and they taped it to the lens to kind of make it seem like the point of view is like within the field of flowers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some frog tape and just literally tape these to my lens This is actually really difficult to do with only one person. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix them properly in a second. Okay, so I've taped the flowers to my lens and this is what it should look like. I have no idea how this is gonna look on the camera. So as you can see, you can sort of just see the flowers in the peripheral vision of the camera and obviously you can like tweak them so they're not so much on screen, but I think this should look good. All right guys, so that is that photo finished. This was actually really, really difficult to nail down because obviously the flowers don't cooperate. You can't just bend them into whatever direction you want. I actually did end up snapping one of them because I don't know, I just thought maybe I could like bend it out of the way, but I really couldn't. I think we did manage to get one or two good photos. So let's check them out. This is the photo that I managed to get. And honestly, I'm so happy with it. I've already posted it on Instagram and you guys loved it. You kind of already suspected what video this was just from me saying that I took this photo in like a non-conventional way. I just think it looks so beautiful. I love the perspective. Who thinks to just stick branches or flowers onto your lens and take a photo from like down below? But I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's very creative and I will definitely give it the Roxy approval. All right guys, welcome to my bedroom. I don't think you guys have ever seen my bedroom on my main channel, but if you do follow my second channel, Roxy and Matt, then you would have seen this whole bedroom and how we transformed it. But the next hack is basically involving my bed, which is 
why I'm in my bedroom and also in my pajamas. So this photo hack that I saw on TikTok basically involves a little bit of cardboard shaped like this. You can literally use anything. I just used an old biscuit box. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna stick it to the ceiling, slot our little phone right here, and then basically take like a aerial shot right down to our bed from the top, which I think looks really, really cool. Okay, so this next hack was definitely a challenge, but mainly because of where I live. Like, it is quite a gloomy weather right now. And just in general, my bedroom is quite a dark room because it's on the other side of where the sun usually hits. So I really struggled with this one, but in theory, it definitely worked. My main tip is to definitely use strong enough tape because the first time I taped it to the ceiling, it actually fell down because I only used frog tape. Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay. Yep, that did not work But the second time around I used like stronger duct tape and it actually stuck on properly It stayed there and it was totally fine I mean, I still was a little bit scared of it falling on my face and literally knocking me out And I have to say the photo we managed to get is a really cool photo Obviously the quality isn't amazing for the reasons that I've already discussed I just think the general point of view of this photo is so unique and cool You see this kind of aerial point of view in like a lot of campaigns like professional photo shoots So I think this is really cool because of the quality of this photo I won't be posting it on my Instagram because it is just way too grainy, but I tested it out. It does work and maybe in the future I'll be able to do it slightly better. So again, I would say that hack did work. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up and let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so the next TikTok photography hack is to actually make it look like you're floating. So I'll pop the TikTok that I've seen on screen. Basically what the photographer did is they had a stepladder just like this and they had the model position themselves on the stepladder and afterwards they took another photo without the stepladder and kind of merge the two on Photoshop and it literally made the whole thing look like she was floating. So we're gonna do that today, but with this tree and I'm just gonna pretend like I'm doing some gardening and like floating really high up to cut the tree branches. We've set up the tripod in like a really, really low down angle and Matt is gonna take the photo for me. <laughs> You've been like on the floor all of today, haven't you? I know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is not stable. This is really difficult to like keep a balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Every time I look, I can't keep my balance. Hang on. Okay, and now we take the photo without the ladder. All right, we have taken the photo. Do you think we did a successful job? <laughs> I don't know. I think it'll look okay. I wish the background was further away though. I know, but we're gonna have to make do with what we've got. So let's go Photoshop it and see how it turned out. Okay, honestly, this photo turned out even better than I thought. I've already posted it on my Instagram. That's how excited I was about it. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. But here it is. I am just obsessed. Like it looks like I'm literally floating. A lot of the people in the comments on my Instagram post actually thought that I just jumped and just managed to get in like this perfect position. Honestly, if I tried to take this photo whilst jumping, one, I actually can't jump that high, and two, the photo would probably turn out like this. <laughs> like I would not be ready at all. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Obviously you need some level of like Photoshop skills to be able to do this one, but it was pretty easy enough for me. So far out of all the photos, I think this one is my favorite because it's just like the most, I don't know, unique. Like I haven't seen many people do this. So I think it's really cool. And now let's move on to the next hack. All right guys, the next hack that I've seen on TikTok is this one right here where the guy changes his regular lens into a macro lens. So what he does is he literally just takes off the lens. He then literally just turns it around on itself like that and takes a macro shot of like flowers or whatever you want really. So we're gonna see if this actually works. All right guys, so Matt is my volunteer. He's gonna be showing you guys how to do it. So you literally just hold the lens up to the body and then take the photo. This is what you can see on the screen. You can really see right in the flower and all of the detail up close, which I think is so cool. You get a really shallow depth of field though, so like just moving the camera back and forth just a millimeter puts it out of focus. Yeah, and his sky eating the flowers, not allowed. <laughs> As you guys saw in that hack, obviously this was a little bit more tricky because obviously you have to line up the lens to the camera perfectly and it is a little bit fiddly. You also don't want to get like loads of 
dust in your lens because that would literally be game over. So we were very cautious with like turning the lens around, make sure nothing scratched. And I was kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I guess it did work, but would I ever do this again? Like probably not. I'm not really that into macro photography, but if you did wanna try it out, it does work. So I'm, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. All right guys, so this next hack is really exciting. I've been waiting to try this out for a long time because I really, really love the way the photos turn out. So for this one, as you guys can see on screen, there's a video of a person using like a little kiddie pool to make it look like the model is submerged underwater and it just looks so professional. It looks really, really cool. Now I don't actually have a kiddie pool, but I do have a hot tub. So we're gonna be using that for this photo today. So Matt is just coming up with a contraption to <laughs> not get the camera wet. Don't know if this will work yet. <laughs> I mean, it's looking pretty good so far. As it's raining outside, we don't want to get the cameras to get wet, so this is pretty good. Yeah, that actually works. <laughs> So good. Wow, you've got a new invention there. So this is what the hot tub looks like inside. It's not actually that big, but I feel like once I'm in there and I put some flowers in, it's gonna look really, really cool. All right guys, so it's literally raining, but I'm gonna get in the hot tub. This is like my outfit for the photo. This is gonna be so weird. Oh, it's so nice and warm though. That looks really cool already though. I can just tell that having like something quite floaty in the tub is gonna make a really nice photo. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. I feel really bad for Matt because he's just sat there, well, stood there in his car and he's not even over to get in. All right, guys, so this is where it begins. I'm gonna have to literally lay here and Matt is gonna place all these little individual flowers by my head and hopefully we'll be able to get a good shot. I've got to say, out of us two, I think I'm having more fun than you. <laughs> it is raining on my face. Like, it is not a good day to be doing this at all. But when you're in the UK, you don't get to choose the weather, so they're all kind of floating away, but once we get more in here, I feel like it'll be all right. I feel like if we get enough flowers in here, we could make it look like we're in Bali in like one of those flower pools. <laughs> they're all floating away. All right, so we have collected a few flowers right by my face. I'm trying to rearrange them in a way that's like not too samey. So I'm trying to like separate them because I've got like three different types of flowers here. Uh, I actually can't because the rain is going in my eyes. This is so difficult because it's raining and it's literally raining in my eyes every time I try and look up. And the hot tub is so freaking hot right now. You can literally see the steam, so I'm like sweating in here. All right, guys, so this is what the situation looks like right now. The flowers are so hard to keep in one spot and it's raining, so Matt is having to hold an umbrella <laughs> above my head. <laughs> and I just can't keep my eyes open because of the rain going in my eyes but hopefully we'll be able to get a good shot. Oh my God, this literally turned out so good. Like I'm actually shook. I'm looking at the photo and I'm obsessed. I literally just posted this photo on Instagram as you're watching this. So make sure you guys go give it some love and comment that I've sent you from this video. But honestly, this photo is literally amazing. It looks like it could be in a magazine. It looks so professional and you would never know that I literally took this with Matt in my hot tub. The flowers look beautiful, like the water. Obviously I photoshopped the colors a little bit because it was very, very dull outside today. But with this photo, everything looks on point and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm probably gonna get a comment on too saying, how the hell did you get rid of all those flowers out of your hot tub after? But we have like a little net, so we just like fished it all out and it didn't take too long. So I would say that was definitely worth it. And obviously you can do it in like a kid's pool, you can do it in, I don't know, your bathtub even. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter. Especially if you crop the photo in and make it quite zoomed into your face, you cannot tell what body of water I'm actually in. Like, I could be in the sea, I could be in the blue lagoon, I could be in a river. You don't know. I think I'm gonna update my favorite. It's now this photo, so let's move on to the next hack. All right, guys, now for the very last hack, I am outside once again. Obviously, it is now nighttime and it is still raining, which is so annoying, but for this one, I am gonna be trying to replicate the TikTok where they actually use a sparkler to make it look like someone's like shooting like electricity or like some kind of superpower in the photo. And the way they do this is they use a long exposure on their camera, so that's exactly what we're gonna try and do and hopefully it'll work. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start off right in the center of my hands, go out and then do like a circle thing like this. <laughs> Basically, that's it. <laughs> so let's hope it works. And that was the very last photo hack. I don't know if I explained it properly in the little video, but basically what you do is you set your camera to like a long exposure and then you try to stand super still like this. And 
Obviously, it's gonna capture you in that position, but anything else that moves fast, it's only gonna capture the light. So obviously you couldn't see Matt in the photo, that's not Photoshop. He just didn't even like get captured by the camera because he was moving so fast, but the light did, and honestly it looks insane. In this photo, it honestly looks like I've got superpowers and I'm like shooting out like lightning bolts out of my hands, it's insane. I would say that photo hack definitely works and I would definitely try this again. Like it was really, really fun. So those were all of the TikTok photography hacks that I'm gonna try out for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. If you would like to see more TikTok related videos, let me know in the comments below. And also be sure to follow me on TikTok, duh, it's at Roxoras. I've been getting a little bit better at TikTok, so make sure you guys follow me on there. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying home and well, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.